Well, elsewhere in the world, it's been more than a decade since the NATO-led invasion of Afghanistan. And in that time, many Afghanis have returned home. But life for women in the country can still be difficult, especially for those in the spotlight. Etienne Lamy-Smith reports on two rising female artists who are willing to risk their lives to perform. Ariana Saeed received death threats when she released her latest music video. The pop star sings about the widespread problems of inequality and often violence against women in Afghanistan. I'm here to represent Afghan women. I'm here to, you know, uh, fight for their rights, for, for fight for my own right as a woman, as an Afghan woman who wants to, you know, live here. The singer-songwriter is a household name in cities across the country. Her family left Afghanistan during the Soviet invasion when she was eight. After living in Europe for two decades, she's returned as a judge on the popular TV show Voice of Afghanistan and is now focused on her singing career. She's not the only Afghan woman using the spotlight for a cause. Many here believe women shouldn't be musicians or on screen. Afghan-American actress Fareshta Kazami is also risking her life to address some of the country's most sensitive issues. Kazami returned to Kabul after 30 years to pursue her acting career. In her latest film, she plays a rape victim forced to marry her attacker. I've always wanted to uh, take on roles and projects that were dealing with the things that were hard to talk about, that were hard to examine because we're afraid of them. So I'm hoping that I can at least lift some of the layers of the things that we don't want to talk about in Afghanistan through cinema. Critics say Saeed and Kazmi don't represent Afghan culture and say they're insulted by what they say is Western imposition. But the pair remain defiant, determined to use the limelight to bring change for other women.